As the burgeoning cannabis industry continues to flourish, more Americans across the country are opening up to the idea of federal legalization. The legacy of cannabis criminalization has affected the industry in a couple of ways. It's really affected just the composition of the industry. There are hundreds of thousands of people that have been arrested for nonviolent cannabis offenses. Those are the folks that have created cannabis culture, and they've literally been taken off the field and can't participate in the industry as a result. Even though cannabis is legal now in many places, because of the stigma surrounding cannabis, we overregulate it. If you have a cannabis facility, every square inch of the facility has to be on tape, and that tape is fed into the police department. And so that means wealth is kind of a barrier to entry to participating in the industry because all of that regulation is very expensive. I'd say there's big challenges that the industry faces. Cannabis companies, by and large, don't have access to the banking system. The industry can't claim federal tax deductions. And maybe the biggest challenge that the industry faces is its lack of diversity. And that's a function of the history of cannabis criminalization, which has disproportionately impacted communities of color. In order for the industry to continue moving forward, the perceptions surrounding cannabis have to change. First is the very tragic addiction crisis that is going on in this country. Many people look at cannabis as a healthier alternative to opioids. Secondly, it's the legacy of mass incarceration due to nonviolent drug offenses. And after that, people are beginning to realize that criminalizing cannabis is not the option. The third thing is just economics. You know, there's many states that have legalized cannabis and have derived enormous economic benefits. The states have functioned like laboratories of democracy, and so other states can see that those states that have legalized cannabis, the sky hasn't fallen. And so we're returning to the basic truth about cannabis, which is that it's one of the natural medicines that really helps human beings. With its unique cannabinoid composition, the cannabis plant is an unexplored frontier that has the potential to have a massive positive impact on human health. The three major biomolecules that are found in cannabis are cannabinoids, terpenoids, and flavonoids. The major class is the cannabinoids, and these are terpenophenolic compounds that are biosynthesized by the cannabis plant that have all of these amazing therapeutic potential benefits. More recently, as there's been more scientific research into cannabis, for instance, in Israel, looking at treating pediatrics that are having chemotherapy to help them prevent them from emesis or from throwing up. Um, we also have a biotech company called GW Pharmaceuticals that is actually going through FDA trials and they have different products on the market that are based off of cannabinoid formulations to help children with epilepsy. Acting in concert, these compounds are ultimately responsible for the unique and wide-ranging benefit of cannabis. By employing various formulations of cannabinoids, it's possible to create products that have a targeted effect. For most people, they don't want to get high, and most of the emergent cannabinoids don't get you high. So I think that helps to create that safe space, and instead what they do is they provide targeted effects to address specific needs. For example, uh, CBN is a cannabinoid that can help sleep. THCA can help with pain. CBG can help with anxiety and stress. THCV can help you focus and with energy. The other part would be delivery method, whether that's swallowing a tablet, drinking a beverage. The more we can normalize it, then the easier it is for people to have that a relationship where they feel good. Medical and recreational legalization has um, created a greater awareness in general for cannabis and acceptance. So I, I think what then has really started to drive the new paradigm are ingestibles that are produced to a certain scientific level. So you don't have to be wondering what am, exactly am I taking? How is this gonna hit me? Is it gonna be the same as last time? It, it always produces this same effect each and every time. Now, a science-driven company on the cutting edge of cannabinoid research and innovation is helping humans discover the untapped potential of this powerful plant. Level is a user-focused cannabinoid research and development company. What we do is we provide targeted effects-based cannabis experiences in tablet form. Level wants to have an open dialogue about cannabis consumption so that we can remove the stereotypes of, of who that user is and what that user profile looks like. What we try to do then is provide the right cannabinoid to address the specific effect you're looking for or need that you have. Also, the proper dosing, so whether you need something light or you're someone who needs more. And then also provide the information and education so that you can make informed decisions and take action on your own. Backed by science and technology, the company explores the polypharmacy of cannabinoids working in concert with one another to maintain efficacy. What Level does is we look at cannabinoids and we 
you put them together in formulations in different ratios you wouldn't be able to access from the plant alone. So we can really explore what happens as we start to change ratios and cannabinoids in formulation, potentially mitigating side effects of the plant material that's present. While the vast majority of products on the market only contain Delta 9 THC and or CBD, the product lineup offers unique formulations with high concentrations of emergent cannabinoids like CBG, CBN, THCA, THCV, and Delta 8 THC. And the reason that it's so important to educate people about emergent cannabinoids, Delta 9 is a great, a great cannabinoid. Delta 9 THC uh, is the social high that most people understand and, and associate cannabis with. And, it, but, and Delta 9 also has a ton of other uh, therapeutic properties that, that, are, that are helpful for people. But Delta 9 is just the tip of the iceberg. There's over 65 identified cannabinoids right now at this current time. And scientists believe that there's just a, a literal treasure trove of potential cannabinoids that are yet to be discovered. What this means for all of us is the potential health benefits and therapeutic and social benefits that cannabis can bring to all of us is absolutely unlimited. Level remains dedicated to guiding humans with the information and products they need in order to make informed decisions and take action. Level's approach to cannabinoid formulation and delivery of those formulation is how we're really helping to drive the paradigm shift of how individuals view cannabis and then how they also consume it. So we've introduced new form factors, such as tablets, that you can dissolve under your tongue or you could swallow with these unique formulations. And it changes the perception of consumers because these are discrete, they're very consistent, they're very effective. And so all of these things help move the goalposts for, hey, you know, cannabis is becoming standardized and acceptable because of new form factors. For more information, visit levelexperience.com.